Hello, my name is Jeremy Levy and I'm a consultant nephrologist, I'm a kidney specialist and I work at Imperial College Healthcare. So how do we treat chronic kidney disease? Well, as we've mentioned, unfortunately, this is an irreversible condition and very often we cannot get it better, but there's lots that we can do that can stabilise it and stop it getting worse. And if you have mild chronic kidney disease, that may not impact you at all. Many of the things that we can do are about lifestyle changes, which are actually not very difficult, but can be quite hard to put into practice. We'll talk about those in a moment. If people have some of the other conditions we've mentioned, such as high blood pressure or diabetes, then it's really important that those conditions are very well managed. And actually for blood pressure, that means really very well controlled blood pressure, which will mean lifestyle changes and medications. And if it's diabetes, having your diabetes managed extremely well, and both of those will stop kidney disease getting worse. If people unfortunately have the most severe form of kidney disease, so that's CKD stage 5 or even 4, then we do have to think about what will happen if the kidneys get worse and then we need to consider dialysis and transplantation and planning for those. Many of these people are actually very elderly and in that case that may not be needed at all and we can just manage people's symptoms if that's what they've got with the most severe forms of CKD. If you smoke, you should definitely stop smoking. So smoking makes kidney disease worse and it stops some of the medicines that we use from working. And as I've already mentioned, kidney disease is associated with heart attacks and strokes. And again, smoking will make that worse. Please quit. In terms of medicines, it's always worth checking with your pharmacist or doctor if you're given new medicines to make sure that they're fine. Many tablets have got labels that say be careful if you've got kidney disease that we specifically use but just check with your pharmacist. The major things to avoid are regular use of the anti-inflammatory painkillers such as Nurofen or Ibuprofen which can be damaging although the occasional tablet is probably absolutely fine but just not regular long-term use. High blood pressure makes kidney disease worse as well and generally, if you know that you've got kidney disease, the blood pressure needs to be even more aggressively treated than people who don't have kidney disease. And lifestyle changes and diet will help a little bit, but most people will need medicines and often two or three different tablets to get the blood pressure to very low levels. Now, this is really important. You won't feel any better, but it makes a very dramatic difference to stopping the kidneys getting worse. So many people with CKD will be prescribed some medicines. These aren't just for blood pressure, but there are some specific groups of drugs very commonly used. Some of these are called ACE inhibitors and others angiotensin blockers. But these are groups of drugs initially for blood pressure that we now know are really good at stopping damage in the kidney. And almost everybody with CKD will need one of these drugs and they're really important. You may also be told about sick day rules, meaning if you're sick, for example with diarrhoea or vomiting or a fever, you will need to stop the drugs for two or three days before restarting them. And this is a very exciting time because actually there are lots of new treatments around for chronic kidney disease. The newer medicines are a group of medicines developed for diabetes sometimes called gliflazins, a horrible name, but these are fantastic, we now know, in kidney disease, often used together with the medicines like ACE inhibitors that also prevent scarring. They can make the urine a bit sugary, which is part of how they act, but they seem to be really effective. Many people will also be on two or three other medicines, for example, for cholesterol or for their blood pressure. I hope this has been helpful.